to read a nutrition label for kids. Hey there, today we're jumping into the world of nutrition facts tables. Those little boxes on food and drink packages that tell us about the foods we eat. Are you ready to join us on an adventure to level up your food knowledge and discover how to read these labels in just five steps? Let's get started. Have you ever looked at the nutrition facts table before? Let's take a look together. What spot on the table do you think you should look at first? Lots of people will say calories, sugar, or fat, but there's actually a step that goes before this, the serving size, and that's where we'll start our journey. Step one, the serving size. The serving size is our starting point. It tells us how much food we're actually talking about here. Picture it like transportation on our journey. Are we traveling in a big boat, car, or bike? Or a small toy boat, car, or bike? This will make a big difference to how far we can go on our adventure. It's the same with foods and drinks. The serving size tells us if we need to do some math with the numbers in our facts table. If we're eating one cup of soup, then these nutrition numbers are based on this amount. But if we're going to eat two cups of soup, we would need to multiply all these nutrition numbers by two. Hey, can you bust this brain teaser? What if we're going to eat half a cup of soup? What would we do to our nutrition numbers? We would need to divide by two, which will divide all of the numbers in half. Now that we know how we're going to travel on our adventure, let's move on to the next step. Step two, meet the nutrients. As we move down the label, you'll see calories next. Calories act like fuel for your body, similar to how gas acts like fuel for a car. So this value tells you how much fuel you get from one serving of the food or drink. But wait, there's more. The fuel for our body is made up of big blocks and little blocks. We call these blocks nutrients. Big blocks include fats, carbohydrates, and proteins. And little blocks include things like saturated fats, sugars, fiber, sodium, potassium, vitamin D, calcium, and iron. But how do we know if we've got the right amount of big blocks and little blocks? Well, that brings us to step three. Crack the percent daily value code. You may be wondering, what is the percent listed along the right side of the table? This is the percent daily value. These numbers act like a secret code to tell you how many big blocks you're getting and how many little blocks you're getting. Want to learn how to crack the code? If the number is less than 5%, it's a little. If the percent number is more than 20, it's a lot. Brain teaser time. If the percent daily value is 32%, is that a little or a lot? It's a lot. 32 is more than 20. Now let's move on to step four. Choose your blocks. Now we're going to choose which blocks we want more or less of. For most people, the blocks or nutrients we want more of that act as a power boost for our body are fiber, vitamin D, potassium, calcium, and iron. Some blocks like sodium, which is the same as salt, added sugar, and saturated fat can add fun and flavor to our foods, but having too much of these blocks all the time can slow us down on our adventures. So we wanna make sure and balance these blocks with our power booster blocks. Let's break down what each of these power boosters do. Fiber usually comes from beans, vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and nuts and seeds. Fiber helps to keep you fuller for longer, so you're not feeling super hungry between meals. It also helps keep your gut working well, so you can have healthy poops that aren't too hard or uncomfortable. Everyone loves having healthy poops. Vitamin D usually comes from the sun, but can also be added to milk or eggs, some vitamins and found in some mushrooms and fish. Vitamin D is very important for your body and helps to build healthy bones and teeth. Potassium is usually found in fruits and vegetables and milk. It's important for your heart and muscles. Calcium can be found in milk, cheese, tofu, and leafy greens. It's important for your bones, teeth, and heart. Iron is found in meat, seafood, some cereals, and bread. It helps to keep your brain working properly and helps you have healthy blood, which is important to keep the whole body healthy. What about the blocks or nutrients we want less of? 
Let's just talk about added sugar. Sugars can be a little confusing. Too much added sugar can be hard on your body, but you don't need to stop eating all sugar. Sugar actually helps to give us energy. But there are certain types of sugar that we want to include less of. The reasons why sugar is tricky is because sugar can be natural in a food or added. Usually, sugar that is natural in a food comes with other bonus power boosters like vitamins. Usually, sugar that is added to foods doesn't come with any bonus power boosters. Let's look at an apple. It has 18 grams of sugar. Do you think this sugar was added to it or natural, which means it's already part of the food? It's natural. Apples also have other power boosters like fiber and plenty of vitamins. What about a can of soda pop? One can has about 25 grams of sugar. Do you think this sugar was added or is natural? It was added. The can of soda can be a nice refreshing drink sometimes, but it doesn't come with any power boosters. So we want to choose other nutritious foods and drinks more often. So how can we tell if sugars have been added or if they're natural? Check the nutrition facts label. It tells you exactly how much sugar was added. Can you spot the added sugar on this label? There it is. So we know that this food has 10 grams of added sugar. That brings us to step five, the last step in our journey, compare foods. Now that we know all about the nutrition facts table reading, we can compare the labels on two different foods to decide which one will give us the best power boosts. We're going to test our skills on two foods, rainbow cereal or oatmeal, to decide which one we want to choose. By the way, all foods can be part of healthy eating. We want to choose foods with more power boosters more often. These are our everyday foods and include foods like fruits, vegetables, milk, meat, beans, and nuts. But we also have our sometimes foods. These are foods that tend to have less power boosters, but we can still enjoy them sometimes. These include foods like candy, soda pop, chips, and ice cream. Are you ready to test out your new nutrition facts table reading skills? Let's go. This is a nutrition facts table from a box of cereal. Let's take a look and run through our five steps. Step one, check the serving size. For this box of cereal, the serving size is one cup. If you make a fist, that's about the size of one cup. Now, this leads us to step two, uncover the big nutrient blocks. If we eat one cup, we get 140 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 31 grams of carbohydrates, and one gram of protein. Remember, if we have more or less than one cup, we would have to do some math to figure out our nutrient numbers. Now for step three, look at the percent daily value to decide which nutrients this food has a little of or a lot of. As a reminder, 5% or less is a little and 20% or more is a lot. So this food has a lot of sugar, 25%, and it has a little or actually no fiber, 0%, no calcium and no potassium, all at 0%. Step four, choose which nutrients you want more or less of. So let's say you want more fiber and you want less added sugar. How do we know if sugar was added to this food? When we look at the label, we can see that all 12 grams of sugar were added. Which brings us to step five, where we can compare the food with another one to choose the best option for us. Let's compare this rainbow cereal to oats for oatmeal. For half a cup of dry oats, we get one cup of oatmeal after cooking it in water, so our serving sizes are the same. Remember that our rainbow cereal has 0% fiber and 25% added sugar. If we look at the oats, they have 13% fiber and 0% added sugar. So if I'm looking for an option with less added sugar and more fiber, I'm better off choosing the oats and adding even more power boosters like fruit, which also adds yummy flavor. On our adventure today, we've explored the secrets of the Nutrition Facts Table. Let's recap our epic journey. The Nutrition Facts Table is like a map, guiding us to discover the nutrition in our favorite foods and helping us make choices. Remember, the serving size is our starting point, and we may need to adjust the nutritional numbers based on how much you're going to eat or drink. Aim for 20% or more of fiber, vitamin D, potassium, calcium, and iron. These are our power boosters that keep our bodies strong and ready for any quest. 
For a balanced adventure, aim for 5% or less of saturated fat, added sugar, and sodium. Every food can be a part of healthy eating. Enjoy many foods, especially the power boosters that keep you going strong. Now armed with your new nutrition facts table skills, you're ready to conquer any food quest that comes your way. Happy exploring!